We are just hours away from the next crewed flight from our coast, and we're counting down until we see that Polaris Dawn mission make history. Yeah, so here is a live look right now at what the rocket on the launch pad looks like and the plan for when it takes off. It is set to soar three and a half times higher than the International Space Station. As New Six, Ang New Six anchor Eric Von Anken explains, the move is a risky one as the crew will encounter dangerous bands of radiation. You might remember the name Jared Isaacman from his first trip to space in 2021 when he bought himself a ride on a rocket to raise $200 million for his favorite charity, St. Jude's. But his other goal then is the same as it is now, to advance space exploration. So for this mission, Polaris Dawn, it's called, Isaacman is again paying with his wallet, but also his body. He's sharing the cost with SpaceX to do a space walk, the first commercial space walk ever, and test out the new space suits that SpaceX has been designing. And they're testing out the spacecraft, the Dragon capsule, at high altitudes to see how it and the humans on board handle the high dose of radiation. So here's what the four men and women are going to do. The International Space Station sits at 250 miles above the Earth. Well, they're going more than three times higher than that, 870 miles up, through the Van Allen radiation belts. That's where the sun's high-energy particles are trapped. On their way up there, right after launch, the crew is going to start breathing pure oxygen to get rid of any nitrogen in their bloodstreams, like a diver does, to avoid the bends. Then the capsule drops down to 435 miles above the Earth. The four are going to put on those new spacesuits, depressurize the cabin, and open the hatch, exposing the entire crew and everything inside that capsule to the vacuum of space. It doesn't have an airlock. That's also never been done before. Isaacman and one of the SpaceX engineers, Sarah Gillis, are going to float out of that capsule attached by life support hoses. They trained for this at SpaceX headquarters, and then after five days in space, they're about running out of oxygen, so the crew comes home with the results of the risky boundary-pushing test trip. I'm Eric Von Anken. I'll see you again tonight from the Kennedy Space Center for launch.